Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm gonna to take you along as I get some things ready for baby. I am approaching my due date. In fact, well, not in fact. When this video comes out, um, I might, I will be past the due date. Whether or not the baby is actually here, we shall see, but there's a great possibility of that. But I will probably be posting a photo really quickly on Instagram, the birth story within a couple days, and then there's gonna be a few videos after that where I'm still pregnant because I'm shooting videos this week and next to sort of get ahead, at least that's the goal, we'll see how that goes. And so um, there, I will likely still be pregnant after the birth story and I'll bump that one up to let you all know. But I cannot believe that I'm actually getting toward the end of this pregnancy. I feel like the first trimester goes really slow because you're kind of sick, and then the rest of the pregnancy, all of a sudden it's just like, I cannot believe I'm having a baby soon. So I'm getting some things ready. Now this is not all happening in one day. If you uh, are worried that I'm being a little bit too ambitious, I'm really not. Um, I'm gonna just take you along over the next several days. One thing I wanna get done is swapping out all of the kids' clothes for fall, putting away anything summer, filling in the gaps, I'll take you along with that. I need to get my birth supplies, ready as well as just a few little things for baby like newborn diapers and I want to wash slip covers. Random but that is something I need to do. I need to clean out the mud room, get all of our swimsuits and that kind of gear out, bring in all of the warm stuff because it is officially moved fully away from summer at this point which is obvious but I usually wait too long to do all of that stuff. So we'll see what all I get to. Those are the priorities let's take you along. One thing I like to do just about every six months is go through the kids' clothes. I usually do this in May and October whenever I am sure that the hot weather has truly settled in or in the case of October, the cold weather has truly settled in. So I keep one giant tote down in the basement labeled extra kids' clothes. It's for all four boys. Now the girls are separate. They can do this whole job completely by themselves, which is amazing. The boys I have to completely handle. So I bring that bin up and I just go through and get out what we have for each size, fold it and look at what I have then I get everything out of their drawers upstairs because somehow over the six month time frame, they acquire things, they grow out of things. It just needs to be completely revisited. And so I threw everything down the steps and just started sorting. Whenever I do this kind of job, I always make three piles, one for Goodwill, one for the trash, and one to go back in the extra kids clothes tote. So usually if it's shorts or t-shirts in the fall, I'll throw that in the extra kids clothes tote. If it's something like a 12 month onesie that was still in Daniel's drawer, even though he's almost two now, I will throw that in there to save for the next baby. But the goal is to make everything fit in that tote. And then I also make sure if anything has holes, rips, stains, to just get rid of it. And then after I have gone through everything, folded everything, sorted it by size, what currently fits which kid, I make piles, and then I make a note on what everybody needs. So usually middle kids um, will have a hand-me-down or something and they don't need as much stuff. But then like my oldest, he'll need a few more things. Usually it amounts to getting a few long sleeve shirts because those don't really last through the seasons, whereas like button up flannels and jackets and jeans, those typically do, but we almost never come into a new season with enough nice, plain, long sleeve cotton shirts that just go with everything. And so I'll usually make a little note if they need that or pajamas or whatever, then I just will print it off go gather what we need and then we are good for yet another season. And then I will have the girls do the same in their room. All right, I was able to get everything put away and then I picked up some items that were on my list of gaps to fill in. Now, as you can see, the oldest boy has the most gaps because he has no hand-me-downs. And then the younger boys really did have quite a bit already. I got some basic long sleeves for Daniel and for Jude and Eli. And as I'm laying stuff out, I'm like, oh, I forgot my long sleeves for Micah. So what I'll do is I'll put away new boots, new clothes, and then probably make a second list and then I'll be really done with it.
All right, I know this all looks really bad, but it hasn't been this bad all year. What has happened is in the last couple weeks, we've brought coats out because there's been some really cold days, but then we've also had swimming days in October. So the swimming days per the forecast are officially over with. So now I can go back down to just winter and stash away all of the swimming stuff in the basement and take inventory and figure out if we have snow pants for everybody and we have coats and gloves and all of that fun stuff. Just like I did with the drawers, I'm gonna do this, make a list, and hopefully by tomorrow we'll be just set for the winter. And then maybe around April, swimsuits will start coming back out and we'll have this mix again and then in May I'll do this all over. For the slip covers, I'm going to bleach them. I don't do this very often, which is very obvious when you look at them, but every once in a while they need a good hot soak in bleach to be revived and look decent again. So it's time and that, that'll be a good thing to get done before baby. I also like to hit them with a little bit of OxyClean before putting them in, just in some of the troubled spots. So usually the arms, the wing back area, and the seat are really bad and then the rest of it, usually doesn't get as dirty. I'm getting together a few of my birth supplies. My midwives gave me a list. One thing's a bowl, which is weird, but for the placenta. Um, this is going to, when I go into labor, I'm going to put this shower curtain underneath my sheet to protect the bed. And then I will put, I will put sheet, shower curtain, fitted sheet. That way you can peel back the shower curtain and the fitted sheet and have a clean, fresh sheet. These are just like a bunch of medical things they brought by, so I don't really know much about what that is. And then I have this basket. They wanted olive oil in here, a bunch of rags and towels. 
couple swaddle blankets. These are to put on the bed after birth. Um, newborn diapers are important. And then a whole bunch of just like pads and things and um, stuff for postpartum pain and the placenta. So I think I'm good. I've been putting this off for a while, but I'd like to have these two baskets sitting here ready. That way whenever, if I go into labor and things are fast and everything, I'll just tell them just everything you need is sitting right here. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me as I prepare for baby and some of the last minute nesting that I'm doing. Hopefully, when this video comes out, um, I'll have a baby. Now, I really wish I was already there. Past the labor, the birth, all of that. Maybe when this comes out, I will be in labor. Who knows? But I am about um, 39 weeks pregnant at the time of filming this particular part of this video. So we'll see, and I covet your prayers as we move into this next phase of having the baby and adding a seventh child to our home. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.